What is discipleship? What makes discipleship effective? How are we to measure success in discipleship? Disciple making is the primary calling of the church. Regardless of the size, every church should have a focus or a process for making disciples. Effective discipleship can only exist through intentionality. Discipleship is found to be more effective in churches that focus on a model of mission rather than a model of attraction. The mission-focused model of churches are high in accountability and intentional about building community, while the attraction-focused model of churches are evangelistic in nature and leave Christians searching for more substance than the Sunday morning meeting. One shouldn't assume that every church leader operates with a clear understanding of who a disciple is. For instance, a church leader could regard a new convert as a disciple, while another leader's notion of disciple could be someone who sings in the choir or teaches a Sunday school class or even a volunteer in a church ministry. What these divergent views suggest is that the church is yet to come up with a common understanding of the concept of disciple. Tim Ketchum has spent many years focused on making disciples. Along with the church planning, Tim has formed the strategies and tools to help systematically and effectively disciple others while also being efficient. Numerous churches in the Clarksville, Tennessee area can attribute their success to Tim and his coaching. He has gained notoriety in a few nationwide ministries and has teamed up with Alan Hirsch, another credible name who teaches on the fivefold ministry, in writing The Permanent Revolution. If you can explain to us what you would define as effective discipleship. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think um, at, at bare bones, um, you know, it, it kind of raises the question, how do you know when you've made a disciple? Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, there's two things, I think. Uh, one, I think, fundamental to being a disciple is can you hear God and do you develop a pattern of responding in obedience. And this kind of taps into the Great Commission, right? Um, we're supposed to make disciples, but we're supposed to teach them to obey everything that the Lord has commanded. So. Churches are either making disciples of church or disciples of Jesus. Disciples of the church learn to parrot the leaders of the church in the sense that they can perform the duties of the church but find it hard to be faithful or to love or to have compassion for others. When we make disciples of church, we are telling them that Sunday morning meeting is more important than a life lived for Jesus. Victor Ogunderan believes that churches are failing because they're not teaching people to observe all that Jesus has commanded. Until they redirect their efforts to the main assignment of raising disciples, there's no amount of attractive programs or other efforts that can make them get out of their state of decline and irrelevance. His idea of failing does not mean churches are closing. He means that disciples of Jesus aren't being made, rather we are teaching people how to perform the duties necessary for Sunday morning to thrive. Carlos Serrano, senior pastor of Grace Life Church in Clarksville, Tennessee, provides us another view of effective discipleship. His experience leads him from associate pastor of a large denominational church to where he now leads a smaller mission-focused community that ministers not only to the Clarksville demographic, but also Mana Cafe, which feeds thousands of people each week through their food distribution services, as well as their three feedings each week throughout Clarksville. He also leads in helping provide much-needed supplies for the Hope Pregnancy Center, which aids and facilitates services for low-income families with maternity needs. I interviewed Carlo. And he said, discipleship, simply defined, is following Jesus, obeying his commands, and teaching others to obey his commands. It would be following Jesus, obeying his commands, teaching others to obey those commands. That's simply discipleship. So I'm going to follow what Jesus said to do. 
I'm going to live my life like Jesus, and I'm going to teach other people to do it. Tim concurs when he says discipleship is effective when you can hear God and develop a pattern of obedience. Effective discipleship not only teaches the followers of Jesus to hear His Word, but obey it as well. Discipleship takes a step forward in being effective when it moves a student from being a learner to fulfilling the calling God has on his or her life. Since the key to effective discipleship is a direct relationship of teacher-student, can discipleship be just as effective in evangelistic church schematic as a mission-focused church schematic? In other words, is discipleship effective in an attraction-focused church consumed with drawing a crowd for the purpose of sharing the gospel and inviting them to draw closer in relationship to Christ, or is discipleship more effective in the mission-focused churches where relationship already has a foundational advantage? Tim Ketchum answers, both models are needed, however, the mission-focused model of church is more effective because it is foundational. The mission-focused quality of church is based solely around the concept that relationships encourage mission. Hugh Halter, in his book, And, Gathered and Scattered, says when Jesus gathered a few men together to begin his discipleship process, he was more concerned with the relational factor, such as walking with them in real life, talking to them about a new life, and showing them a better way to live that was more true and non-religious. Discipleship tends to be more a difficult process in a church where people gather around programs to infuse information rather than experience. Jesus didn't gather his disciples for teaching alone, but challenged them to follow me. Carlos Serrano argues that biblical discipleship looks more like one person walking along in life with the disciple rather than one person speaking to a multitude of people. Discipleship relations go deeper when people are walking together in life. A missionary community is a group of believers who live and experience life together like a family. A missionary community is made up of a spirit-led people who radically reorient their lives together for the mission of making disciples of a particular people and place where there is a gospel gap or no consistent gospel witness. This means people's schedule, resources, and decisions are now collectively built around reaching people together. Discipleship is not only imperative for church growth, but it's also a metric for church growth. Churches can count attendance, money, and time spent working programs and events. However, none of these are quality assessments for determining if the church is successful at fulfilling the Great Commission. Discipleship can only be effective when the church decides being like Jesus matters most, therefore creating interest in Jesus rather than the church program. Making disciples of Jesus needs to be the church's culture regardless of its focus. Discipleship is only effective when Christians are being led to be more like Jesus and less like the world. It's the church's responsibility to make disciples. By doing this, the church stands a far better chance of making it an imprint in culture. When disciples move outside the four walls of the church and be Jesus in the community by loving, giving, serving, and influencing others to do the same, then the church is being successful in the mission of God.